Hey yo, what is going on you guys? Kalahandro here and welcome back to another episode of Mugion. In this episode, we're going to be building a sunken bypass road consisting of tunnels, underpasses, and roads that avoid busy intersections so that people who are just going through the city and not to it can go with ease. I'm also going to be building in some districts that are needed in the city because we have a lot of empty spaces. You know, we're almost 50 episodes in, but there's still a long way to go. So if you guys want to check out how I built this, keep on watching. So it's been a literal month since I have played City Skylines. The video you're seeing here, this was still back in November. December wasn't even a thing yet. So yeah, so sorry about that. For you guys who are new to the channel, welcome. <laughs> to those who have been waiting for a new episode after a long time, welcome back to the channel. So you just saw me build there the underpass or it's actually a tunnel going underneath this double roundabout intersection in front of the train station. If you guys haven't checked that episode out, that episode is linked down below. It's underneath the like button, so if you guys want to check that out, it's there. I built there a train station all in one. Yes, yes, all the transit, chichiness, you're gonna see it there. But yeah, in this episode, what we're focusing on is building this bypass road. Now, as you can see, I am using um, two, three roads actually. They are the one on the inside and two on the outside. The inner road is going to be the bypass road. As you can see, it's going underneath intersections. We already have a tunnel over there on the left side. And that's going to serve a similar function as a highway. So I'm taking inspiration from EDSA for this. So EDSA has a lot of overpasses and underpasses that avoid intersections so that traffic that is going through it would flow smoothly and they wouldn't have to stop at a red light. So yeah, what the idea here is that some spaces, some cer certain areas in this part of the city have access to the bypass road, but you know, in the lore of the city, there are not much people driving everybody is either walking biking or taking public transit so that's why later on in the video you'd see me also place bus lanes alongside the bike lanes that we have in this bypass road now i just chose i decided to make this bypass road narrow just a small one so that people who really need to go through the city quickly would be able to do so with ease now we have bus lanes, we have buses actually, <laughs> the simulation is paused. So there's going to be a bus line going along the Archila Road, which is this road right here. So that's going to be handling this traffic, you know, another choice for people. I'm just connecting down the lanes, so it's very basic lane connections. People going in can slip out and slip in into the um, bypass road with ease and I'm building in the other side. I'm going to be explaining later on in the live play in more detail how this works, but basically one end of the um, bypass road tunnel, you can't actually go there if you're like on the opposite side. You have to go straight through. Yes, you'd see like you can't turn right, you can't turn left, you can only go straight through. You're gonna be seeing that later when I place out the intersection marking tool and this wouldn't have been possible without node controller and the intersection marking tool because as you might have seen it was a curved road but now it's straight you know that's like that never happens on vanilla city skylines and there have been a lot of mods thankfully there are these new mods that make this possible so as you can see you can just go straight through you can't go left you can't go right that's that. It's just a bypass road. It's connected directly to the highway system to an intersection right there, which I will be updating in future episodes. I'm going to be changing it into a 
what am I gonna be changing it into? Maybe a continuous flow intersection? I'm gonna be fixing it because it's quite old and it doesn't function very well. But here I'm adding in another intersection above the bypass, bypass road. So it's gonna just be a through intersection. You can go left and right. And here is a little drive through that I added in because you know me, I got ADHD, I get distracted easily. And I'm like, I haven't even finished yet. I'm not even halfway, but I'm like, what does it look like when I drive? And this is what the city looks like right now from first person view. If you guys wanna check out, um, if you guys wanna watch a first person tour or drive throughs in the city, hit me up in the comments. But I guess I just should probably build up this place first yes this intersection right here i'm gonna be changing this up because this is this is quite ugly so as you can see we are avoiding downtown we're going underneath this tunnel i fixed that <laughs> yes we're gonna fix that yeah it was a canal and this one is the tram road that goes underground and we are greeted by this tower now, later on in the video, it's going to be replaced by another tower, but I'm taking into, into consideration the vistas, the views you have once you're driving. And this, you have view directly of the volcano. So that's pretty neat. And now we're going to be placing down buildings. Now, these are going to be tall buildings and they are centered around, not around, they're centered by this, um, they center across, along that's the word yes vocabulary so they're centered along the circumferential road the bypass chuchuness and they're consisted consisting of tall new buildings they're like we don't have that many glass cladded buildings because this is in the tropics mind you i mean there are glass cladded buildings but i want this part of the city to have a unique aesthetic so it's mostly built with this um green cities dlc buildings so these are a mix of residential and offices and this is the building that i replaced the building before with it's what you see when you drive out of the tunnel and this is going to have commercial offices and residential the towers are going to be residential because most of the demand today for towers are for residential and also offices and this area is going to be mixed use now we have change we have new assets yes it's amazing i'm going to be filling up more areas in the city and the aesthetic here is very you know it's very coherent it's very new i'm thinking that this used to be this wasn't like this but when they finished the bypass road and they had some renovations i there is a restriction here by the way later on in the live play i'm going to be showing you why this has tall buildings and some areas don't but getting back into the time lapse before getting distracted we're placing down a jollibee here and mcdonald's beside each other because this is going to be a new center a new center a new hub for people a new city it's not a city center but it's like you know uh an, uh, an additional one but yeah we have a nice view of the city there and here we're going super fast okay because this was recorded last month and i don't know it was super jittery and i don't wanna you don't wanna watch me place down buildings so i'm just gonna be cut 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 and just explain what the hell is even happening on the screen so we're now you know filling up the empty spaces so i'm using these offices now along the um MR3, MR3, MRT, uh, the metro, and I'm placing down these Japanese assets from the Japanese content creator pack and adding in parking because we lack parking in the city. Even though I said like um, parking is like underground and on buildings, those are for places in the city which are very dense. And this part of the city, you know, it's still want some parking here and it also adds to the realism in this place but speaking of density i still added in a building that goes under that is underneath the the train line and we have buildings that hug the train line i want to make more buildings on the other side that will hug the train line and then beside that it's going to be behind that's going to be just suburbs or public housing yeah that's quite gorgeous and now we are building we're finishing, you know, that there's an historical district on the other side. 
and this is the other side so we're just filling the gap here and i have downloaded these italian modernist um, buildings on the steam workshop and they are perfect now i'm going to be mixing them with much newer buildings because i'm thinking that um the the, the only remaining buildings that are like european or old are the ones that i that have been able to cope with the changes because land value here has increased immensely that old businesses that were like like low low quality not low quality they weren't like bougie and stuff they decided to just the buildings the singular buildings so the big buildings are the ones that remain and the smaller buildings have been demolished to make way for bigger buildings as you can see here a little bit of history to that so you can see this building here is it will remain it has been there for a long time the aesthetic here is 1930s buildings mixed with newer ones but yeah it's all over the place like it's all over the place it's all over the place we all you didn't have a japanese building here for some reason but somehow in the end they all blend nicely they all blend perfectly together it gives it a sense of history it gives it a sense of realism and speaking of yeah different types of buildings on the other side of the canal we have new buildings like they're built in the 2020s and all that kind of stuff and yeah that was that you're gonna be seeing that in more detail in the live play but this is what i was talking about this is the bus lane we're adding in a bus lane here even though the population of the city we don't have that much people living here but in the next episodes we're going to be filling in important places i'm going to be limiting on the detail part in places that are not too important because i've decided that if we want this series to progress we gotta cut down on some things and focus more on building up other places as you can see i didn't put signs here or markings because even though i like doing that it takes a lot of time and with so much things still need to be done we have to we have to choose what we keep and what we let go wow anyways trees 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 now we're doing trees and i'm not sure if i'm satisfied with how this turned out as you can see from the drive it looks gorgeous by the way when you're driving through it the trees hugging you it's sped up because you know it's time lapse and i just sped up the thing that what i was anyways so you might have now you're seeing me fixing up look at the traffic though i get distracted easily by the way so don't mind me anyways i added in these barriers and yeah the barriers and the canal wall walls so that when you're driving through you wouldn't be able to see the terrain clipping as you might have seen a while ago and this would be a clear distinction from the bypass road and the normal arterial road so this actually extends around the entire city i'm just going to be going into the live play to show you how far we've progressed in this field but yeah now we are going to be in a intersection right here at the middle and this is going to be the main access point for the new district that we built if you guys have any name for this district hit me up in the comments you know because why not but we're gonna have bus bike pedestrian cars all in one intersection and i'm just keeping it quite simple um adding in a dedicated like markings for the bus and the bikes and the access points here are quite simple the intersection i mean the lane connections here are quite simple and that would be if you're on the left lane you can go straight through or go left or if, if you're in the right lane you can only turn right and yeah the bus lanes just go straight through and the cars on the arterial can go wherever the hell they want but they can't make a u-turn and here in the philippines we have these like um yellow boxes so you can't be inside the yellow box boxes yeah it's like this part no 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 stop no stop only go but 
yeah, the reason why I placed this was to also not do too much line connections because literally we don't have to fill every single place here with proper line detailings because just with that, it's done. It looks great. So it's fine. It's amazing. It's gorgeous. Sometimes less is more. <laughs> Coming from me, less is more. I get, I get over the top sometimes with my builds that, you know, they lag. That's why I'm going to be rebuilding some of those. Also, you know, banning um, people from using the bus lanes. Only buses can use them. Look at the drive. We're driving through. And the Mayon Volcano is speaking. It's saying hi. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. We have a tower there as well. That's going to be an important building. It's going to be significant, similar to the Eiffel Tower. But I still haven't chosen an asset. I don't want an asset that is too iconic to be placed there. And here is a drive through going into downtown. As you can see, the trees are quite close. But yeah, this is a game. And I'm just, it's just, I don't think this is re too realistic. But it's too narrow. So I don't think people would be driving this fast here. So because this is sped up. Traffic flows smoothly though. Yeah, it flows smoothly. And this is going to the capital. So yeah, it's gonna stop here because this is its final destination. But yeah, now we're going to be going back to the district and landscaping it. Now I'd ha I had so many attempts with how I landscaped this that what you're seeing here is just me cutting, cutting, cutting. But the main idea is that it looks tropical and it's shady like that but finally later on you'd see the final design with it but this place is named Kayapu inspired by Kiapo here in the Philippines in Manila and the etymology for the name Kiapo is from Kayapu which is I think an Indian term for the lilies lily pads you're seeing right there on the screen that's actually lotus flower but let's just imagine they're Kayapu so yeah that's the name of this district because it has a lot of kayapus in the canals and yeah this is a very this district is very trade tradey so this is where they get their money from trading with the other areas now i'm just adding in trees so this is what i mean by i'm gonna place shady trees here and i have i will remove the i know palm trees because they just don't seem to match the vibe you won't see a palm tree in a downtown unless if it's like a highly decorated palm tree it's like the fancy ones but you won't see the ones that i place down here anywhere but yeah we're changing in more roads in the city um, making it the shared road system the one where you can bike walk and drive and yeah i'm also fixing in this intersection right here and removing the parking and covering it with grass so that that's where we place down the trees and this part of the district this part of the city is also going to be another important one this is going to be more of the older it's not that high end like the one on the other side of the canal this is gonna be this is where the shift this is where it shifts to a lower density even though we have this super big building here but yeah it's kind of i want districts to feel like their own thing like when you're walking around this part of the city or this district here like if you're walking in magdala you know you in, you're in magdala because of the aesthetics of the building and when you're walking here you would know where you are based on the buildings as well and it's a little bit hard to you know encapsulate that IRL not IRL like actually because if we try to do that with every single thing we build this would take quite a long time and most of the time I just use my imagination to imagine these places as being what I say they are so might as well just continue doing so so that we don't see we would see more but the gist of everything rather than a highly detailed specific less you know we'd rather have more of medium than less of large if that makes sense my analogies like they're all over the place but yep 
shades trees trees but basically what i mean i'm going to be focusing on building the bigger picture more than the little details because i think we were we're going to be focusing on the little details in the future because city is still not complete we still have a lot of empty places to build in to fill in and yeah if if you want the series to progress you have to you know cut corners but yeah i just said that already a while ago but the video time lapse is about to end i'm just adding in this final um intersection marking i sh shouldn't i mean i couldn't have done this i mean but it i don't know how to say that in english but i did because why not and it took me too much but yeah i city skylines is like my therapy whenever i'm stressed i just hop into the game but sadly i got too overwhelmed with school that i wasn't able to play the game and it feels so nice to finally be back playing the game and building new things for you guys so we're going to now be going into the live play so that i can explain this district and what we've built in even more detail and welcome to the live play you're now seeing here the double roundabout intersection that we built in the last episode as you can see there are a lot of people trying to go around go access all the various different parts of the city through this roundabout but if you prefer to go through it we now have a tunnel going under it as you can see it goes underneath here and it goes out there so i'm just gonna be doing small pans across the area because the frame rate doesn't really like that now i'm going to be explaining how the connections work now we're going to it first starts here at the continuous flow intersection it's quite old i mean it looks fine but the connections are a bit iffy and all over the place it works but we can still make this better i'm gonna be fixing this i'm gonna be fixing this river thing here also in the future episode but first you go into here now you have two choices you can either go straight through into the bypass road or go use the outside road so that you can access everywhere else now if i just pan out far across into the city you'll be able to see that this entire road here this bypass road will continue along the entire thing and we're going to be having another one here and we're going to have an interchange here maybe a sunken interchange like a real highway interchange type of vibe but i'm just going to be going through this entire place and we're going to be going into these districts later on so we first start here it sinks down and it turns into a one lane um, bypass road which has two lanes on each side for the I don't know frontage access roads and it goes straight through it goes underneath here and oh, there's, there's a lot of traffic there yeah that's why we have to build a bypass because if you want to just go if, you, if you're not going to this place you would want to be stuck in traffic plus there are also a lot of people biking and a lot of people walking here so we want to lessen the amount of people going there and the city is rich so yeah i was trying to build a overpass but it would it would be unsightly and it doesn't it makes this place look ugh. so i decided to just use a tunnel we also have two tunnels here we have a tunnel that for the tram that goes into the station right here oh the frame rate is so bad so we have yes the tram that goes underneath here so the road is actually lower than the trams i might put a drive through along this maybe later on by the end of the episode or maybe a separate video so that you guys would just be able to click on it if you would like but yeah we go through this to the left we have the times square buildings and then we have a mall a huge mall so this road goes straight through and it turns and we have the first um funnel into so as you can see the road the outside road tur turns into three actually it's just two because this bus lane is here 
So you have either you can either enter the bypass road or you can just use this again so that you can go into the new district's intersection which allows you to be able to go in either the left or the right directions and it turns into four lanes because we have the old one the previous one that is from the tunnel and we have a new one that is from here so that just makes a lot of sense it looks quite amazing actually it works phenomenal and you can also exit the bypass road here and go into the roundabout and I spaced them out um, fairly far apart and this is the first in and out and the next part is if you want to go into this place and if you missed your exit by the roundabout you can exit here this is the first exit of the bypass road now we have three lanes the bypass road going northwards i don't know right bound eastbound westbound it's all over the place but yeah from this direction this is the first exit and from this direction this is the first entrance and it also extends continuously into this weird roundabout thing i wasn't able to place this into the time lapse i mean it was there but i decided to cut it because it was such a mess building this entire place and this road right here it's connected to the uh, arterial uh, circumferential road yes and this is the bypass road underneath i placed down some pillars so that it would look a little bit more a little bit better i don't know if you would be able to see that but yeah there are oh <laughs> It's a little bit too it's a little bit too low so I have to sink it down maybe later on. But yeah, this inner section, this roundabout here is connecting three avenues. We have the circumferential road, we have this avenue connecting through the palace and into the walled city, and we have this avenue going outside. Anyways, getting back to this, here we have an exit. And here we have an entrance. If you want to enter, there's an entrance. It's very, you know, very properly distanced. And it goes straight through another one. It's going to be like this the whole way through the circumferential road. And it goes straight. It's just a flat because we have a hill here. And here we have this road. It will continue on. And I'm going to be extending that further on. And this is the entire bypass road system this is phase one whoa phase one is going to be this entire thing and yeah since we have a circumferential road a road that goes around connecting all the different cities this is the new district that i built a lot of detail a lot of yeah it's very laggy oh, oh very laggy yes so this is the new district that i built and this is mostly high-rise apartment buildings as you can see with offices and commercial at the bottom the architecture here is very new but if we cross the canal we can see a lot older buildings because it's an extension of oh my god the frame rate here is so bad I have, wait i have to do some magic don't mind the people don't mind the people they love living here they love living here it's just it's a bug in the game anyways so yeah we have this island here this huge island it's not a, i don't think it's an island but it's yeah, it's like separated from the rest of civilizationism and this is like the core of the foreign settlement that's magdala right there we have a lot of these small canals here these used to be where the small boats would be and they would dock here and trade would happen but now it's just mostly for aesthetics and here is the new district this is kayapo it's a very, very walkable district. And it has a canal that wraps around the entire place filled with these lotus. It's actually lily pads. These are lily pads named Kayapu. Hence, it's named Kayapu because it's named after these pads. But these are actually lotuses. And you will see the architecture here that it is very unique. It's kind of like giving me, if you're from the Philippines, you might be familiar with McKinley Hills. It's like the little Venice in the Philippines. It's kind of giving the similar vibe to that. But 
we have new buildings mixed with old ones and the roads here are just gorgeous it's very wide one of the widest roads in the city and the views in each corridor is just they're amazing here we have very walkable streets with high trees that give shade excuse the frame right as we move to the other side and on this side we have the tall buildings in the financial center and if you move a little bit further you would be able to see that it's a very old district it's it's a historic district on this side but this side is a lot newer hence these much newer buildings and taller buildings the skyline is very nice from this side here we can see the oh let's move a little bit here we can see the um it's a very iconic place let me just move the camera a little bit okay now this is a view whoever would be living here would have one of the great city because on the left you'd be able to see the um temple the port area a bridge uh, churches the palace and the skyline it's very iconic and you may also be able to see a glimpse of the olympic stadium and more residential areas here that's also why i'm not going to be building too many tall buildings because i want the olympic stadium to also be visible from other parts of the city this entire area here will be quite low density or we're gonna have high density here so there's gonna be a tall building here probably residential again and it's gonna have this amazing view whoever would be living here is super lucky i can't wait to build up these places in the next episode city skylines is not just me playing game in places it's my escape from reality but yeah this is the highway oh i haven't forgot to show you this guys you guys you guys why did he suddenly become a kardashian but yeah as i was saying a while ago i wanted this place to feel like when you're riding the metro there's more urban feeling here and i still want to keep the male volcano prominent but yeah a lot of amazing viewpoints in the city a lot of amazing amazing i mean we could have just gone straight through but the palace is here so we wouldn't want that and we have a station there should i place a station here i mean we could place a station here so that everybody living in this radius We'll be able to catch a train and go outside or maybe just go here should i place a station here hit me up but yeah <laughs> i got so distracted it's been an entire month since i last uploaded a video i mean the last time was i guess november but yeah it just feels so nice to finally be able to be back playing city skylines it's so nice to be finally be home now thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed please give it a big thumbs up comment down below what you want to see next and of course don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to show your support to the channel consider becoming a patron on patreon.com and get exclusive content early access and the map of magayon the save game of magayon for all the top tier patrons and to whoever wants to try it out before i be releasing it to the public so in the next episode i got a lot of store i got a lot of store for you guys i got a lot of things in store for you guys the next episodes are going to be a blast i just want to say take this time to thank you guys for the kind words through this kind of hiatus moment that i had um hopefully things are going to look better this 2022 i hope it's not 2020 too like as mean as well because we don't want that to happen again anyways this is Alejandro signing off bye